Hello everyone and welcome to Feng Shui Fixes for the month of July. Hello, my name is Kathleen Zemanski. I'm a business Feng Shui master, business astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer business management system. But today what we're, what we're doing is we're doing a walk around, if you will, of the compass dial. And we are looking at all the different changes that are happening. And they're in feng shui, if you have been following me for a while or understand a little bit about classical feng shui, what we are always looking at are these wonderful moving energies where there's a lot of opportunities, but there might be some pitfalls. And today I'm going to be talking about the north. And because of the combination of the flying star of the annual, the flying star of of the month and the feng shui, the annual feng shui of the month, we may be a little bit cautious about using the north. So let's get started and we'll talk about how I can help you through the challenging times by making sure you use the opportune energies of each and every month. All right, so we are in the year of the rat. This is, um, as you know, a very challenging year. We have had some pretty uh, extensive uh, fallback whether it be for from the pandemic, whether it be from the um, you know economic you know downturn and all of that, we are really in a quagmire. So this now more than ever is an opportunity for us to really understand what your space has to offer you and how we can help. So before we get started, we obviously would love your support. This is so important to us that you are getting the most value about what we have to offer, which is about feng shui, astrology, and timing, and then also universal gateway, which is the spiritual side of, and it really is about how I would be teaching it on a platform like uh, YouTube would be more about, you know, manifestation and how we can bring some balance in this very chaotic time in our life. But I do have some solutions for you. So um, what we'd love for you to do is we would love for you to simply click below and subscribe to our channel if you are new to us, then comment, like, and share. So when you share and help us, this is going to be our guerrilla marketing because you're going to be helping us out. And we do sincerely appreciate that. And then of course, ring that bell, any notifications that would be coming your way of obviously you want to be on top of them. And here is a big distinction about potentially other videos that you're watching on YouTube. This is a system that needs you to act now. If you really are one of those people that wants to move forward in this chaotic time where there's tons of opportunities, obviously, you are gonna have to take action. This is a very time sensitive video. So if you wait just about a week or so, this energy is going to be into something else, which we'll talk about next month, but I want you to really stay on top of. So it's not a listen later. Don't hit the save for watch later because you may miss the opportunities. And I want you to really be able to make the most out of what we are offering here. Okay. All right. So um, what my business model truthfully is person, space, and time. And so 33% of your chart would be about or about your life, if you will, would be about your astrology. So that's an important piece for you guys to understand as well, that in a perfect world, we have person, space, and time. When I say that 33% is your astrology, that's assuming that you got a great chart, there's no animals that are conflicting, uh, there are no clashes, there everything's wonderful from the year. If you're one of those people, lucky you, but believe it or not, you can even take that to the next level. But most people, most people have charts that... Um, at some point in your life, there's going to be these ups and downs, right? But that's predictable. And that's one of the things that I really want to have you understand when you know a little bit ahead of the game, what's going to be happening. Like, fortunately, I knew, you know, years ago that the year of the rat was going to be coming about. So what does that do? That helps me plan and strategize to get out of some of the pitfalls that are happening around the world. So when you know this in advance, so we can't do it, we can't, we can't, unfortunately, re wind as much as I would love for that to happen 
for the world, <laughs> we can't really do that. Only thing that we can do is start positioning ourselves to make better decisions now. And then taking that next step of what is your plan and your actions that you're going to be taking. So that's all about the strategies that you're going to be doing, right? So once we know what the astrology is of a person, that really next piece is then looking at the feng shui of your space, which is what we're going to be talking about a little bit today. And what we're going to be talking about specifically is the monthly energies that I want you to take note of. Now, um, the thing about your feng shui is that's also assuming this perfect 33%, 33%, and 33%, you potentially actually have 99% control over your life. Now think about that. If you knew how to handle your astrology and what to do, what are the ups and downs of your astrology? You do the positive and kind of avoid. It's just like, you know, a tactic of of any kind of um, competition that you're in. If you want to win, you got to have a strategy. You don't go out on the field of any sport arena that you're talking about, whether it be a one-on-one -on -one sport or a group sport. You got to have a strategy. Otherwise, you're going to get your butt kicked. <laughs> so you definitely want to have a strategy. So the same is for your, for your space that you're working and living in. Now, you may not have a perfect space, so that can get downgrade a little bit as well. We're not going to talk about it too much today, but then that next piece is the timing piece to trigger that energy to take the right action at the right time. So there's another series I'm doing concurrently with this called Time Blazer Tuesdays, also on YouTube. You can tune in for that tomorrow. But, um, and then, uh, you know, potentially, Alice, if you could, if you're listening to me right now, I'm sure you if you can also put the link there for them to find that tomorrow as well. But just come back here on YouTube and that's where you'll find me. So let's go back to um, how I can help you with taking next steps. All right. So um, first of all, you may want to grab the charts of people that you're sheltering in place with. And the reason being is when you know and understand what's happening in their life, then you are able to definitely start understanding, having more compassion you can definitely start communicating with people in a much more compassionate with kindness and really having boundaries when when you're in when you're in this position of balance you're able to communicate better when you are in a level of stress that you're reacting and just barking at people not too many people are going to listen to you anymore at a certain point. They're just going to start walking away. And the North is going to be very um, important for this discussion that we're going to be talking about today. But what I want you to know that um, we're going to be talking about, yes, your astrology and how you can look at this in a way that will be uh, beneficial to you. So just go to freebusinessastrology.com, enter in your birth information. That link is below as well for you to find out information about yourself and people that you're sheltering in place with. So um, let me go back here. Okay, so um, now we are in the month of the goat. So I've talked about in other videos. I'm not going to repeat myself. Just listen to um, some of the other videos. But it is definitely one of the more favorable animals in 2020. It is the most favorable in 2020. So you definitely want to find out information about that. Again, a link is below if you want to hear just about the goat. But when you do, when you run your chart um, on YouTube, go to the 2020 um, annual event where you can find each of these animals and get a little bit of information about them. But what I want to point out is that the goat is an earth animal a yin earth animal. Therefore, it is um, really governed by the element of earth. And earth is also the number one favorable element in 2020. So if you have a goat in your chart, this could be very good for you. Now, there are going to be animals that are going to clash and punish and destroy. That's not what we're going to be talking about here. We're really going to focus more on the, the feng shui of the space. And so really what I want you to start thinking about is um, how well does the goat work for you? And you'll find that out um, just by following me a little bit and just, you know, getting getting some information about that. So, all right. 
back to um, this on the right hand side of the screen is just a little quick shot of the the time blazer I'll talk about that in just a second but what is important for you to know about your chart by the way is you know the year birth has certain attributes month day and hour so there was a little infograph below there but basically your you know I look at mostly business so it's not that I don't look at your personal life either when I'm consulting one-to-one -one or in groups um, it just is that that's really my niche is working really more with, with businesses. So it is about your networking is the year of birth. Your month of birth is about your career. Your day of birth is about you and your personal growth and your partnerships. And then your hour of birth is about your legacies. It's about your um, life purpose, brainstorming, that kind of, kind of thing. So it means a number of different things, but just for... Um, the essence of time we want to um i don't want to repeat myself like i said before you can find that in other videos all right so let us talk about the space now this is something that i want you to start thinking about because if there was ever an opportunity to really take note of the condition of your space uh, this would be a good time because we're going to be spending more time um, we're probably, especially in the United States, some other countries are way above the curve when it comes to um, having a handle on this pandemic, but all of the science and astrology really are paralleling with the knowledge that we know to be true. We knew that this was coming in, maybe not to this extent did we know that we were going to be in a pandemic, but you know what? Here's the thing. We can predict about how things are going to start playing out, but what we cannot predict is how humans will start acting or reacting. So we have a pretty much uh, equal divide, but with, you know, face coverings and non-face coverings. So that is making this pandemic pro pro prolific in the U.S. So maybe other countries are a little bit ahead of um, flattening the curve, but we're still kind of on the uprise here. So this is going to last a good long time just because of human um, acts, you know, how, how people are acting or reacting to the pandemic. So it can extend out what we're doing. And so we'll, uh, we're will we already looking at uh, 2021, obviously. I can tell you from where I'm sitting, we're pretty much looking at just about this time next year is before we're going to really have that vaccine out and things like that. But um, there are things that we can do, obviously, so this would be a good time to do that. Okay, so let's look at um, our next uh, slide here. And this is now talking about the annual uh, feng shui. So this is from you know what I talk about at my annual event. Give me a second here while I'm trying to get over to, there it is, just takes a little second here on uh, delay here. But we are looking at the North Palace, so just for those of you who are just joining me today, we are talking about the monthly energies. And I started in the center palace where the seven is at. Then we went to the southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest. And we're talking about the north today. So we've got uh, today and then two more days before we'll finish up the information about the month. So what I want you to start thinking about is are these numbers individually? And then these numbers together from the monthly. So in the north, what we have is the three. And typically the three means arguments. So we can have communications, obviously, but when we already have it positioned where we know that arguments can happen, that's when we really start need to start watching our communication. So let's see what happens when we add in the next piece that we're gonna be talking about, and that's adding in the monthly. Now, I want you to take note that um, the monthly energies um, on the right-hand side, on all of these numbers, I am going to be talking about the annual energies and the left-hand number, in this case, the eight, this is going to be the monthly. Now, again, this is going to expire on August the 6th and August the 7th, we'll have a whole new flying star pattern that is going to come into play. But when you start adding these two numbers together, this is really, what we need to start thinking about. Now, the first thing I want you to um, 
think about is this combination is about your mouth. So we really, really, really need to start um, watching if you're using the North. And here's some, here is um, something before I even get into this information. What you're going to want to really want to do is you're going to want to get a an accurate floor plan because I'm going to give you the opportunity in just a few seconds to download the free compass style from the annual. And you're just going to have to put in those monthlies every month um, at this moment in time anyway. So basically what you you want to do is you want to start looking at what is available in your space. So every year we have opportunities and we have obstacles. If you put your body, use that area, you know, do a little bit of work there. I've been showing this the whole time that we've been on, but you know, these little puppies are computers. So for, for anyone to tell me I can't, and you can't take this and go into another position, you're telling me you won't because there's a lot that you can do by just, even if you're having one room that you're working with, you can move your body for an hour a day or whatever to get into that vibration. Conversely, when the energy is negative, just avoid it. So we're going to eliminate in this particular series the need for you to do feng shui activations, which is a very wonderful thing to do. But I get that all of you may not be quite ready for that level yet. So what we're trying to do is getting you to understand that every month, these every year, these energies change. So there's long term feng shui that has nothing to do with the year of the rat or the year of the dog or whatever the year it is. It doesn't really matter. We have these long range. And these are for your long term goals. The feng shui of your space is there to help you achieve your goals. Now, the next layer is more the then there's many long term as well. But then we have the the, the annual energies, which I do a big talk every year on that. And then now we're breaking it down month by month. So I've been doing this for my own space for, for quite some time. And then I was like, wow, but, you know, I think I could actually help some people right now. So this is why I'm doing this currently at, at no charge so that you can start getting your life turned around. And I'm telling you, it is as easy as putting your body into an area that has vibrant energy, avoiding the sectors that I talk about that you don't want to spend time in because of the impact of the negativity. Now, when I'm talking about this, I want you to understand that you may have sat in a negative energy and then something happens and it's like, well, wait a minute, I wasn't even in the, the, the North or one of some of the other ones that I talked about. Well, you've triggered the energy and now you put yourself in a situation that now can start creating some challenges for you. Okay. All right. So um, let's go back um, on over to our, our PowerPoint here and let's see what else the 8-3 in the North has to hold for people. Like I said, it's all about your mouth. So what you put in and watch what you put in and watch obviously what what goes out so this com this is a combination about your communication about your verbal and non-verbal communication so you want to watch the sarcasm you kind of want to watch you think something is very funny well guess what you may not be as funny as you think <laughs> and and your intentions or the you know trying to make light of something someone can take very personally and misinterpret it so this is what's going to happen in the month of July because of this 8-3 combination so if you do find yourself in a confrontation situation then you want to you know kind of remove yourself from it you know come back with the solution versus rebuttal you know how sometimes we can you know think about something and then it's like oh I wish I would have said that don't do that that is not solving anything and it really doesn't help you move forward it just makes you look weaker actually so there's there's something about boundaries 
and then something about I've got to win all the time. Winning all the time makes for a lonely person. <laughs> so sometimes you have to make compromises. I'm not asking anyone to be a doormat here. I'm asking you to be realistic about when there are, th you know what, and I'm having conversations with some of my clients right now that they're really frustrated with. Um, I had a client uh, conversation this morning with someone who, who is upset with his um, employees. And um, so he's having a bit of a staffing problem. And I was like, you know what, I want you to understand that you know, it's not just about what's happening in your life. They've got a life outside of your work um, as well. And there might be, you know, always like err on the side of, you know, walk a mile in somebody else's shoes kind, kind of attitude. So you just really want to watch that, that communication. And, you know, this kind of like... <sighs> that can get you in trouble too. So <laughs> there's really no need for that. That's really kind of passive aggressive. So watch your passive aggressiveness or that non-verbal communication that, you know, really kind of looks like you're putting your dukes up instead of communicating, right? So that's that's a, that's something that you want to um, watch about. So now on the other thing, since this does involve the mouth, you do also want to watch with garbage in, garbage out. So garbage in is like the fast food, um, you know, like we've been in this situation now for since what now, four or five months now. So, you know, at first it was like comfort food. Yeah, fine. It's fine. Well, if we comfort food, we may comfort food ourselves to death, really, right? Because we're going to get so obese because we're not really watching what we're doing. We're not watching what we're putting into our mind as well, because even like the people you hang out with, the programming that you're watching, programming as in, you know, streaming content and all that kind of stuff, um, uh, you know, series that you might be watching, like, uh, you know, different programs, you know, the level of violence and language and all of that, like garbage in, garbage out. Now let's look at it differently and go mindfulness in, mindfulness out. That's going to be a much better solution to the North this year. So I also wanted to let you know that this particular combination does have a really nice um, balance as well. And it is also about nourishing your soul. So this is about nourishment. So, you know, we really do have a opportunity to really make some nice things happen this month. But for the most part, we do have to watch what's going Going on as far as communications is uh, is concerned. So um, now I uh, just want to do just a little recap of, of the you know what we can expect in the north. So what I've done is I've tried to find some icons just to help you a little bit on looking at what is available. So again, this is very much concerning the mouth. The reason I left it um, blue over red, blue being positive, the red being negative, is that we have a choice of how we open our mouth and how we use it. But we can pretty much um, kind of bank on, if you will, that it is going to be a bit of a challenge this month in the north. So, you know, as I would be setting up my space, even if you don't have these last two pieces of information, go hang out in the southeast. We know that it's great for money, great for partnerships, great for property. We know the southeast is very good, and we know that the northwest is very good. Then we have this kind of mixed bag. If you have only one um, icon red in there, you know, I'm okay with that. You know, just kind of understand that there's potential of things going up or down. So um, just go where mostly positive energy is at and you're going to have, you're going to even feel better. I'm telling you, you're going to feel less burnt out being in positive energy than when you are in draining energy. Just think about it. When you're in a conversation with somebody and you're happy and it, it lifts you up, right? When you're in a conversation that just drags the energy and it's just like the energy vampires just you know just suck that out of you how can that be fun and 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 lift your spirits right so we want to we want to start thinking about that as well so be in areas that that can help you all right I want to show you these two dials that I want to um, 
let you have access to. One is the annual Flying Star. So this is where your floor plan is going to become important, where you're going to want to put this floor plan over your, this compass dial, excuse me, over your accurate floor plan. Again, that link is below. And we are talking about the north. And so that's at the bottom of the, the screen right now. But I also want you to take note of this particular dial, which is in our packet that I'm giving um, away as well for free. And so basically the north, you can see anytime it's the year of, then we're going to see the red, we're going to see the red show up. And then the exact opposite of that in the zodiac is going to be red as well. So all of these other energies are going to start shifting and, you know, you'll find out more about that um, when I do my annual event. But for right now, what I want you to understand is use the green, avoid the red. So we have in the north, what we have is what is called the Grand Duke. And we don't want to disturb the Grand Duke. We just want to keep the Grand Duke quiet, Grand Duke being the rat. So we want to keep that quiet. So um, for example, when I was talking about, when I was talking about certain animals in your chart, if you have a horse in your chart, the, the rat is already going to give you a bit of a trying time. So you, if you have a horse in your chart, you probably don't want to spend a lot of time in that area. But now we're interfacing the 8-3, which we know is about you know, being a little bit mouthy, sarcastic, there's just like, you know, that little bit of a edge that will not benefit you. Along with the Grand Duke, we know now that that North Sector is going to be a little bit challenging. Now, there's going to be a couple times a year where it's going to have some vibrancy where you're going to go, oh, you know, okay, maybe I will use, use that area. But otherwise, you're going to want to avoid it. So that's the thing I want you to be thinking about. And if you have, um, if you have, for example, a window or a door there. We want to keep this area kind of quiet in the month, the entire year, but this month we know that it will bring about some disputes. So do be careful about using a door or, or a window in the north if you can, if you can. Okay, so let's uh, finish up here with just talking briefly about time. Um, that's 33%. I actually say it's much more than that because you have absolute control over any day and time that you choose to do things like product, service, and program launches. Like I said, Time Blazer Tuesday is going to explain that a little bit more in detail. We'll do that tomorrow and we'll talk about uh, the 28th all the way to, what is that, August 3rd or something like that. So right before we switch over to that next um, energetics of the month, but we'll talk about this um, more on Time Blazer Tuesday tomorrow. So um, that's what we have for you today. Again, if you can, uh, if you haven't subscribed or ready and like what we are showing you here today, please go ahead and like, comment, share, and ring that bell. And we thank you so very much with all of my heart for tuning in for with us. And we would like to know how you are using these energies. So let me know what your number one issue that you are facing this year. And we can probably find a solution. So if you start giving me comments now, I can uh, potentially help because I won't know everybody's chart, obviously. But we can potentially help you on which would be a better area for you to hang out in the last few weeks of this month of the GOAT. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, twice online, one for Time Blazer Tuesday and then for Feng Shui Fixes. So have an amazing rest of the day and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.